Good afternoon. We've met today again for an interesting episode of the Aura Health Corner. Today we are going to look at teeth brushes or toothbrushes. Most of the people will meet you and then the question will be, what toothbrush will I use? Will I use toothbrush A, B, or C? Today you will find your answers. Toothbrushes we all know, we are referring to oral hygiene article that is used in cleaning the teeth, the gum, or the tongue, in addition to dentrifices. Dentrifices here I'm referring to toothpaste. I'm sure we all have toothbrushes in our various homes. We'll be looking at a few things about them, the description, the types, which one should we use, and which one shouldn't we use, when should we think our uh, toothbrush. Now we are going to give a brief description. The toothbrush has a handle, it has the neck that joins, and then the head. The neck joins the head to the handle. And then the head has the bristles, if you like, the part we use in brushing the teeth. Now those things we see that we use in brushing the teeth, if you pick one, just one like this, we call it a filament. Now the filament are usually put in groups. So you will normally see them in group on the head. Now when we put them in the group, we call that one tuft. So this one is a filament, but if you put it in a group, a bundle like this, then we call it a tuft. The tuft are usually what we see on the head and they are put in rows. So if you put all the rows together, then we have what we call the bristle. So we have a filament, filament, a group of filament is known as the tuft, and a group of the tuft is what we describe as the bristle. Now we can classify the toothbrush based on their design. The design is, am I going to use my hand? Or is it the manual way I'm going to use in brushing? Or does it require the use of power, battery? So those we use in our various homes are the manual ones. We also have the electric toothbrushes that requires a source of power to either you buy a battery or you charge it. Whichever way is applicable to you, you can use it. Then we have the interdental toothbrushes. Interdental toothbrushes are basically used to clean in between the teeth. That's what I say, interdental, in between. They are very small and slender by nature. And then they can also be recommended during a special procedure like braces. So you can use it to clean under the braces. We can also classify toothbrushes based on the uh, nature of the uh, bristle. Is it hard, is it medium, or is it soft? Now, either it is soft, medium, or hard is seen on it on the pack. So the pack, you see a soft written, you see a medium, or you see a hard written on it. Either you see it at the top or sometime at the back, you also see it there. Or even sometime on the body, we have, you have it there. So if you buy your toothbrush, look at it. Of clinical importance to us, or the classification is the uh, Bristol classification. Please, the appropriate toothbrush to use is either soft or medium. Either soft or medium. Hard or extra hard is no good for your teeth. The toothbrush basically does only two things. Remove the bacteria plaque or remove food debris. So these two things, you don't require any hard thing to do it. If you use the hard toothbrush, what will be the effect? The effect of that, you can get what we call cervical abrasion. Normally there are gutters under the the, the, the teeth. So you see, usually with the aged, you realize that there are gutters under the teeth. This is a result of the use of hard uh, bristle toothbrushes. We can also have gingival erosion, where because the toothbrush is hard, will be hurting your gum. It will be eroding the gum and be causing sores. Or we have what we call gingival recession. The gingival recession here, the gum will will wear off or will move down. That's the epical migration of the gingiva. So we realize that the teeth becomes unusually longer than it's supposed to be. 
When are we supposed to change our toothbrushes? We're supposed to change our toothbrushes ideally every three months for all things being equal. I'm using the word for all things being equal. Now, if the three months is not even up and your uh, toothbrush flares up, so this is the flaring, you realize that it's opened. Once you see those things, it means that it's an indication for you to change your toothbrush. Or if it gets contaminated, it falls down in the bathroom and gets contaminated, you have to also change it. So on this occasion, either three months, if the three months is not up, there's a flaring up of your toothbrush, change it or there's contamination, you 